Hi, the Lily Squad. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Y'all already know, every time I start to record, she want to come on. It's like you just always want to be seen. You want to be heard. You want to be in the things. All right, sis. Dang. Let's get right into the video. Hey Tiger Lily Squad King Kang, how y'all doing? How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all your post notification bells. Follow me on all social media platforms at Essence of Shay. And if you haven't already, please go to my website, www.essenceofshay.com. And sign up for the newsletter. Go buy yourself some lavender hair mist, some covet oil, some Mahela, um, some Dare Sis. I just got so much things coming out, y'all. But in today's video, we're going to get to business. And today's video is all about the 10 things I wish I learned before I started my locks. And also what I've learned so far. I'm saying it's him, but y'all know I don't even be with these numbers. It sounds good in titles. It do. <laughs> but do I actually stick to it? Not really. No. Um, but I'll be doing my makeup while I do this because I want to do my makeup. I have nothing else to do. I just want to do my makeup. So when I first started my lock journey... Locks were not as popping as they are right now. I tell you that right now, they were not as popping. Yo, I'm like eight years, I mean eight, eight, eight years, 18, 19 years in the game right now with locks. And they just was not crack a lacking like they are now. Where are my eyebrow stuff? Um, so the things that you guys learn now, low key, I learned that later down in life. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all, um, you know the do's and do nots before starting locks, and I did not. So when I started my locks, I started it off with two strand twist. And the first thing that I wish I knew before I started was the parting system. Um, my parting system is not that bad, but um, I would have rather like a diamond shape because it makes my, it would have made my locks um, thicker. Uh, my locks were thick in the beginning, so that wasn't a problem. But had I known about the parting system, I definitely would have went with that. Um, secondly, I also started with beeswax, right? So we all know, if you don't know now, I'm pretty sure everyone... I definitely don't know where I was because my phone just rang. Um, but I started with beeswax and like how everybody tells you, beeswax is just not the go. That caused a lot of buildup in my locks um, and it caused a lot of attraction to lint and all that stuff. A uh, next thing that I wish I knew before is how to like the materials to use on the top of my locks for instance i would you know like when you have natural hair or whatever you know to cover your hair at night and keep it moving i didn't know that certain materials caused um dryness and possibly breakage i didn't know any of that stuff so i would just wrap my hair with whatever and then keep it moving um so and obviously you guys know the deal on that that's not uh a good thing also i wish i knew how um i wish i knew that retwisting your hair so much not only causes tension to your edges and to your roots uh but it also can cause thinning to your locks uh, because of all that pressure and because when you style your hair, it's not no simple like loose type situation Like let's keep it a bug. We going in with the the retwist and the, how tight it is Binded together. I wish I knew Yo, that ain't mm -mm, That ain't the move sis 
seeing that I had my last for about 18 years, I, I learned that not all locks are the same. No matter how you think you can start or emulate someone else or how the, their journey started or you'll ask questions like, what's your parting system and how many locks you have and da da da. That doesn't mean that my locks are gonna come out the same exact way as every as that person that I asked the questions about, right? Um, so I had to learn that as well. I also learned that though my locks took over a year for it to actually lock up, everybody's journey, once again, is not the same. It's just not. It's just not the same. Um, and like, like with anything else in life, what works for somebody else is not necessarily going to work for you. Right. So I learned that with any other hairstyle locks, it's like trial and error when you use certain stuff or certain things like for instance some people cannot use coconut oil it irritates their scalp some people it's actually pretty good for them some folks um rose water uh breaks them out or things like lemongrass uh they're they it's an irritation to their skin things like that um I would always look at like other people and like use their stuff and think, okay, well, if this worked for their hair, it definitely is gonna work for mine's. It didn't happen like that um, majority of the time, but I wouldn't know that until I tried, which I learned that it's a lot of trial and error uh, when you with your lock journey because you don't you don't know if something doesn't work for you unless you try it, right? I also thought that I would not have my locks for this long. Low key, I thought I would have my locks for probably like four years and then I will cut it. Yo, since I had locks about 18 years, bruh, that is very long. And I didn't know, I didn't think that I would go through so much or the change that will come out with my locks. Like, I did not, yo, I look at other people and I see, I don't want to like diss nobody because this is not like a shame game. But I see a lot of people, they start in their locks because it's like a trend. Everybody uh, wants to have locks now. Um... And it's, they, it's like another hairstyle, like another weave or wig that they put on their head. And in about a year, they comb it out or cut it out because it wasn't really nothing to them. Which, to be honest, that's how it was for me in the beginning. But when I trusted the process and realized like what it has done for me, like it has made me more, my locks have made me more confident. Um more in tune with myself, more spiritual. Uh, it's helped me to just live in my purpose because I didn't know what my purpose was for a very long time. I, I've learned so much from my locks. Listen, man, listen. What I also learned too is that in the beginning of a lock journey, you should not color your hair um, because your locks are just starting off. Color does dry out the hair, so that's not, that kind of defeats the purpose of um, starting your locks and then going right into coloring it. Also, uh, when you first start your locks, you don't, I mean, you can wash it um, because it, it depends on your texture. See, for me, my texture is a little soft. My hair is thick, but it's soft. So, when I started my locks, I couldn't, like, I made a mistake in washing it, like, the first week. And it just completely unraveled. Like, and I had two-strand twists. But it completely unraveled. Um, and, yeah, that was dumb. Um, not necessarily dumb. You can wash your hair. It just, 
I would suggest putting like a, what you call it, like a stocking cap on the top of your head and then wash it like that because that helps out too. But then I don't, to be honest, I really don't recommend washing it to begin with in the beginning. Like I, I would say wait like a month before you wash your hair. Some people think that's disgusting. I mean, it. I, I don't know what to say. I really don't want to say on that edge. Yeah, it's all personal preference, but um, you can wash your hair. You just can't go like deep, like how you would regularly. You know what I'm saying? Yo, also I wish I knew how affordable having locks would be. Listen, before my locks, with my natural hair, all that, those products that are out there now, like Shea Moisture, Myel, uh, Allocane Naturals, all that, that gets your curls popping, all that stuff. Yo, I wanted to try them all. My mom wanted to try them all on my hair. You can't use all of that in your locks. Hold on, y'all, hold on. Let me do this real quick. You can't use all that in your locks because your locks is going to cause buildup, breakage, thinning, all that stuff. So it kind of forces you to be minimal with your hair. Um, and it saves you buku money. Yo, if you find one product that you like, that's literally what you're going to be using. Literally. <laughs> Am I lying? Am I? Also, what I wish I, um, it, what I've learned is that if you don't if you're a super chill person easy going you just you just want to get up and go locks are the thing girl all you gotta do is take your moisturizer spray your hair and go you ain't got to do much like locks is the goat if you ain't got locks yet what you doing low-key the last thing that i have to say and it's going to sound very sappy, but it's the truth is that what I've learned and had I known before uh, I started my locks um, is that my locks has opened a different world for me. And it's more more than popularity because yes, I got popular because of my locks but the support the love the messages i get people who i don't even know fam are uh bigging me up sending me like inspirational stuff saying like yo shay you you inspire me you help me out you the reason why i started my locks you're the reason why i started this business da 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 da, da. and it just means so much because when I told y'all before, I found my life's purpose. And if I never, and maybe I could have found my life's purpose with my loose natural hair, I don't know. But this feels right. This feels like what I'm supposed to do. Y'all, y'all are just A1 from day one. Tiger Lily Squad gang, gang. Y'all know I love y'all so much, yo. It's ridiculous. God. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, but that's all my tips. I don't even know if it's 10. When I when I um edit it, we'll see. Y'all know I ain't good with this number situation. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave in the comment box below what you wish you knew before you started your locks and what you have learned so far from starting your locks. Let's get this conversation going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Like, dead ass. I love you. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Cheers. Uh, crash course. Let me have the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy.